alaikum, hello followers. Uh, I meet uh, a priester for the first time and, uh, here in London and I will ask you one question. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm, I'm spreading Quran around the world. I'm a Muslim and you are a priester. And, I'm, uh, I'm actually a bishop, an orthodox bishop. Yes. Okay, good to know. Uh, do you have one message for us and for everybody about your religion? Can you give me one important thing? Well, the, the only message I could say is uh, there's no better words than can be expressed than other than the Bible itself. Okay. Yeah. There's, uh, that's, I mean, what can you say in such a short time, you know? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Uh, I want, I would love to, uh, to, uh, to uh, share with you one message from the Quran. Yes. And uh, uh, it's in Arabic. You understand Arabic? No, I don't understand Arabic. Okay, just, again, just listen. Allah says in the Quran, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم about the respect between Muslims religion Islam religion and between other religion Allah says قل لي أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم I seek refuge I seek protection by God from the shaitan that's what I see say قل لي أيها الكافرون I will just explain the last one. Lakum dinukum waliyadin. Our religion, your religion. That means Allah subhanahu wa taala um, uh, shared the respect that we need to have between other religions. That's why I uh, want to share this with you. My my answer to that, I guess, is you, we we have to love every human being unconditionally, no matter what religion they are, no matter who they are. However. One thing I cannot respect is misbelief because when God has given his word and he's given his message and then other people have uh, perverted that message or changed it, I can't, agree with, I can't agree with that. Yes. So I, in the Bible, the, me the message in its entirety tells you, uh, I shall teach transgressors thy ways and the ungodly shall come back unto thee. So I can the biggest gift I can give to someone yeah. is expose them to the truth. Yeah. And what is your truth? The truth is, well, what God has given us, the, the, the covenant that God gave us from the beginning of time until now. Nothing's changed. And so, uh, according to their righteousness, so nothing's changed. And so, uh, according to their righteousness, so If you're born in Islam, and then you have, you live righteous in in righteousness, then God will uh, may present Himself to you and yes. show you, for example, that Christ is not just a prophet, yes. but He is the living God. Yes. Okay. In How Islam, you, dis you disagree with that. Yeah. Yeah. How many minutes? I think. Yeah. Left. How many minutes left? One minute. Okay. Uh, yeah, we Muslims believe in Jesus like he's a prophet, not a, um, a son of God and also not a, a father. Well, we believe Jesus not... is, is the son of God, he is God himself. We respect he, that. We, we believe that Jesus was crucified truly. He was crucified yes. as man, not as God, as yes. man. And he done so in order to wash away our sins. Okay, well, I respect your words, but we Muslims believe in that Jesus has not died yet. Well, he he got... He, uh, Allah uh, put him but, to him right now. But even in Allah Islam, in Jesus he says he's going to judge the world. Jesus will judge the Jesus world. Jesus comes, comes back. He will come to judge. Earth. Only God can judge. What do you mean with judge? Only God can judge. Yes, man. but he's not going to judge. Uh, uh, he will come again. 